So, you know, uh, most of the time we think of stillness as being the absence of stuff mm -hmm. that we think. Uh, but you talk a lot about stillness. Mm -hmm. um, stillness is a big part of my life, getting to experience stillness. Mm -hmm. uh, where can we get some? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not, a, it's not a YouTube video someplace. Yeah, I mean, it, there is this uh, incredible fear of stillness. We all have this sense of a void inside, a lack, people call it, of not having something filled up in there. That we can't, no matter what we pleasure we grab or what kind of toy we have or what kind of partner we have, we can't fill up that empty space. And so we have this enormous fear of this empty space and think, what? why am I afraid of this empty space? And we never take the next step which says, let me go inside and welcome welcome this empty space in and see what's there. And can we ever deal with that? It's because people are so terrified of that stillness, that unknownness, and the eye is just screaming, no, don't go there, because the eye is trying to fill this space up unsuccessfully for a long, long time. It hasn't done it. It knows it can't fill up. Well, uh, what's interesting, as you know, what comes to mind is the tomato. You know, I don't remember the exact dates, but for a long period of time, of course, tomatoes oh, yeah, yeah. were thought to be poisonous. poisonous, poisonous yeah. uh, and I remember as a child having a kind of you know phobic response <laughs> to tomatoes. I, I don't, yeah. I don't want to eat that tomato. No, no. And growing up in South Jersey, there were a lot of tomatoes. Yeah. My father had worked for Campbell's Soup. Oh yeah, yeah. Lots and tomatoes, you know, he sorted tomatoes. That's what yeah. he did. He said, oh, tomatoes, get, get them away from me. It's like, well, you know, you got to try it at least, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. my mother would say. And, yeah. you know, and eventually you're like, oh my gosh, these tomatoes are unbelievable. It's yeah, like the most, like, like, you know, they're like mangoes, basically, <laughs> you know, I mean, incredible fruit, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, and, and it feels like that kind of like automatic phobic mm -hmm. response where. It feels like it's rational and there's some kind of story that it makes sense in. Mm -hmm. But really it is just a kind of recoiling mm -hmm. from uh, the stillness. So probably the experiment to go through would be to uh, get into a situation intentionally where there was mm -hmm. such stillness. Mm -hmm. And then maybe if you're so inclined to freak out at the stillness of the tomato, mm -hmm. let yourself freak out a little bit and be with that yeah. freak out. But like we, yeah. we, we, we've, we, these bird suits, the wing suits, people jumping off, of, like base jumpers, they jump off of these things and they spread their, their arms out. They get more views, you know. But they spread their things out and they go shooting along at 80 to 100 miles an hour. And they're very, one of the videos you can stream, pregnant comment, was one person said, you know, the only th reason I do this, be your base jumping or wingsuiting, is because in the first very little tiny piece after I step off, before I start to go, there's this great stillness there. It's very so quiet and so still. It's just the best thing in the world. That's why I do this thing. It's like, yeah, well then, <laughs> there are other ways to do that <laughs> other than to go 100 miles an hour into a rock. <laughs> right. Well, it's like these Rube Goldberg devices, you know, to, to, to light a match. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, right, it's right. like very elaborate thing yeah. in order to get what's right here. You don't have yeah. to uh, jump off of a cliff uh, with a parachute on your back or with a wingsuit on yeah. to get it. But how do you get it? Because, you know, but we get lots somebody of might want to score some. Yeah, but we, but we get it by winning a chess match. We get it yeah. by, by bicycle racing. We get it by hand gliding. We get it by all kinds of ways. And we all think we're getting to it through wingsuiting, yeah. when in fact the wingsuit is only incidental to the process. There are lots of ways to get into this still space, and we arguably are all trying to find different ways to get there and don't realize that it can be accessed all the time. Because well, it's there. It's there. Even the very looking for the stillness is what's getting away in the way of the well, stillness. stillness. Exactly. Um, so it's there all along. Uh, there's no special dispensation you need no. to get it. Uh, meditation, a good practice for experiencing stillness. Mm -hmm. Self-inquiry, mm -hmm. good practice for experiencing stillness. Now, it has to be really quiet and perfectly calm wherever you are to experience stillness, right? You can't, you can't experience stillness like if you're plunging the french fries into the fryer at the McDonald's. Oh, 
Well, on yeah. the contrary, as yeah. we found out, and you're well aware of this, putting self-inquiry into your day while you're busy punching French fries at the McDonald's or yeah. doing some other task or working at home is really useful. And the brain seems to derive extraordinary data value out of having a stop in uh, Even if you just have on your smartphone an app that reminds you every periodically or maybe randomly, yeah. just to take 15, 30, 45 seconds, just stop. Yeah. Ask yourself your inquiry question. And you'll get the answer. The answer is stillness. You know, where am I? And you can't find yourself. And the brain won't come up with an answer quickly enough. And there'll be a little space there. That's the answer. Yeah. It is stillness. Yeah. And you can do that enough times that the brain says, oh, that's interesting. And the high, high contrast value helps a lot. Also, first thing in the morning, last thing at night is you're waking up, if you've told yourself ahead of time. You can see as you just begin to go up and go out before the you know, body mind starts the day, cranks up the day, there's a stillness there. Yeah. And you could if you just watch for it, when you're told yourself the night before, yeah. it's there. It's the same stillness. Because it's there everywhere, all the time. It's just you're not occluded right now. And so you get a chance to see, it's there all by itself. Until you cover it up. Yeah. It brings to mind Brother Lawrence, right, the practice of the presence of God who, yeah. who worked in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And, and I just wanted to you know, get that out there because we tend to think, okay, well, stillness, so I, I need to get to a place that's completely quiet and silent. <laughs> I mean, to the contrary, you know, where, where we do our meditations uh, on campus, you know, there's a constant racket happening of construction and so forth. And it's actually great because if we're hearing it, we're not focusing in on the stillness. Uh, so I wanted to get at that misconception. Brother Lawrence in the kitchen, you know, but he's shouting, you know, yeah. self-described, very clumsy person, yeah. making mistakes, uh, you know, some hilarious letters that he writes about, mm -hmm. uh, you know, all his mishaps. The whole time, he's always in stillness. He, he calls it the practice of the presence of God. Mm -hmm. But it's essentially self-inquiry. It's essentially, who am I? Well, in, mu in music, too, you can use the notes in music to point you back to stillness. Yeah. If there was no stillness around the notes, you wouldn't be notes. They wouldn't seem, wouldn't be re resolved as notes. Yeah. So you do have stillness behind the notes in music, as you know, John Cage and, yeah. and uh, Miles Davis uh -huh. said. You know, it's all about the spaces. It's not about the notes themselves. And so another way to get pointed back into stillness that we cherish, we love yeah. music. Yeah, and it only works because there's stillness there. Same with. Speech and language. Yeah. It's all in the space between the space words. Between words. Absolutely. So stillness is nothing to be afraid of. Like we don't we aren't afraid of it really. We just don't notice that it's there and we're loving it. Yeah. Perfect.